The countdown is on for tomorrow's launch of Boeing's new Starliner spacecraft. The final test flight will carry NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams to and from the International Space Station. The expected launch follows a series of delays, including a scrub takeoff earlier in the month because of a valve problem, then a helium leak. The Starliner is currently on the launch pad at Cape Canaveral in Florida. It is scheduled to blast off at 1225 tomorrow afternoon aboard an Atlas V rocket. So from a station standpoint, from our crew, from our ground teams, we are ready to go fly this mission and we're excited that we are on the uh, doorstep, doorstep of this historic mission. All sounds well, and if the launch is successful, it will be the first time Boeing sends humans into space. The Starliner is expected to be docked with the ISS for at least eight days. Forecasters say Saturday's weather looks good right now, but if the launch is scrubbed for any reason, NASA says it will try again Sunday, Wednesday, or Thursday. All right. Says it's still deciding whether to keep the Boeing Starliner crew aboard the International Space Station until next year. Those two astronauts were supposed to return to Earth back in June. Rekha Munaraj in the newsroom now with more on what came out of a NASA briefing this afternoon. Rekha. Yeah, Len and Mia, the bottom line is NASA needs more data and time to look at that data before it will be ready to decide what happens next for astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. And liftoff of Starliner and <laughs> Atlas V. The pair lifted off on Boeing Starliner more than two months ago. It was supposed to be an eight day mission, but some of the thrusters for the capsule's reaction control system failed during its approach to the ISS. Now NASA could now bring the Starliner home empty for safety reasons and then bring the astronauts back on SpaceX's next flight, which is actually early next year. But for now, they're going to need more data on possible safety issues on the capsule. I know that uh, that they're making the best of this time, but I'm sure they're eager for uh, a decision just like the rest of us. The main thing we're looking at is the propulsion system and the kind of information we're getting is uh, is there's a lot of folks out there that have worked with similar thrusters and have seen similar issues. Today, Butch Wilmore's family said he's taking the delay in stride and they're preparing for the possibility they won't see him until February 2025. Yeah, you just so, sort of have to roll with it and you sort of expect the unexpected. NASA says it hopes to make a decision on the astronauts return sometime next week. So Len and Mia, they'll have to sit tight in space a little longer. I appreciate the wife's positive outlook. There. Very calm. <laughs> very, very calm. Eight months later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rekha Mudaraj, thank you. So expected to announce tomorrow how and when it'll bring back two astronauts stuck at the International Space Station. Agency leaders will meet in Houston to decide whether Boeing's new Starliner capsule is safe enough to bring the astronauts home. Investigative reporter Cheryl Mercedes will be at Johnson Space Center for that announcement. And Cheryl, those astronauts were supposed to be at the ISS for eight days. They've now been there more than two months. Yeah, much longer, Len. Butch Wilmore and Sunny Williams launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida aboard the Boeing Starliner on June 5th. The plan was to spend just over a week in orbit and return to the U.S. on June 14th. But NASA scrapped those plans after thruster failures and helium leaks. A pair of astronauts have been parked at the ISS while engineers debate how to safely bring them back. One option NASA is considering would be to have a SpaceX capsule ferry them back, but that would keep the astronauts there until February. Astronaut Butch Wilmore's family says they're keeping everything in perspective. I know my dad and I know that he is happy to be up there for the most part. He loves being up on the station. He loves being with us because we are very close and he is missing out on a few things, but he knows it's in God's plan and he's up there doing some great work. We know the Lord's in control of it. He'll come back, you know, when the Lord sees fit. Engineers have been evaluating a new computer model for the Starliner thrusters and how they might perform as the capsule descends out of orbit and back to the U.S. NASA says its review of tomorrow will include a mission status update technical data and flight rationale to undock and return from the ISS. The agency is set to hold a news conference after those team leaders meet, and I will be there to bring you the latest. Mia, Len. Yeah, we are all waiting to see exactly what they're going to say. It's been a long time coming. Thank you, Cheryl.